Oh, let's make sure. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to Ace Your Video Live Makeup Tutorial. Talk about Colleen out of her comfort zone. <laughs> but it's important for me to get out of my comfort zone to show you that you can live through it and to show you how simple on camera makeup is. Now, I know you're already saying, Colleen, you look gorgeous. Why would you want to put makeup on? I don't have makeup on. I'm a little uneven. Um, what I do have on, it probably looks like I have some on. I have leftover eyeliner from yesterday because I'm just really bad at taking my makeup off. So I do have that going for me and um, highlighting, highlighting, eyelining, lining my eyes here and in the waterline, as we all know in there, uh, I find pretty important for me. I like to accentuate what I think works on me. Speaking of, I forgot my lipstick. But anyway, let's go ahead. Um, I've, I'm wearing my Betty Crocker apron for you because I wanted to have a good time. And isn't it just adorable? It's not Betty Crocker, but you know, it's kind of like 50s housewife <laughs> stuff. Uh, Cause I'm wearing a white shirt. Don't want stuff to get messy. Um, one of the things to remember when you're doing your makeup, um, let's say you are going on camera. Well, it's the point of this, isn't it? Um, you want to have uh, a like a paper towel tucked into your shirt if you're already wearing your wardrobe. Um, you don't want to put, if you can avoid it, a tight sort of like a sweater or whatever over your makeup and hair. You don't want to mess stuff up. So it's, if you can do it with your wardrobe already on, um, that's, I'm going to take off my noisy bracelets. Sound issue, stand by. Okay, um, so we <laughs> dropping stuff. See, it's live. All right, so here we go. What I have already done is, all right, what I've already done is I've already moisturized because as any makeup artist will tell you, moisturizing is the most important part, right? And hydration. Today's a perfect day for me to be doing this because I am dehydrated and I did not get a lot of sleep. So um, this is going on. And uh, thank goodness li the live screen is so small, so you can't really see as many flaws. But if you are shooting on, let's say your regular iPhone camera with that full frame, because the Facebook does not use a, the full frame, the 16-9 is the aspect ratio. They use a square. Um, so if you are actually filming, let's say, an, something for your email or for your vlog or your landing page or anything, that camera is gonna catch more than I think what this is catching really. So, all right, here we go. Now, why do you need makeup? Well, it's really to even things out because as you can see, I'm shining. And uh, hey, nothing wrong with a little glow, but you don't want to distract from your message, right? Um, and what I have uh, in terms of lights right now is I have on two soft boxes, probably a little too much. And this really cool, I have a, a light around my phone, which I'll show you. I got the idea from Kim Raluna, who's a lovely, lovely entrepreneur here in New York City. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is very gently give myself, um, <laughs> A little cover up underneath my eyeballs because uh and i also go into my my nose because i have broken capillaries because i'm a woman of a certain age and uh that stuff happens you know when you get older so first thing i do is i create this lovely lovely little moon underneath my eyeball and like i said i cover my little capillaries beep, 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 beep. no big deal all right i do also sometimes Depending on, you know, your skin tone changes every day. Your, the texture, the, 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 the ruddiness, as I like to call it. I have Irish, Scottish descent. So I have these like little red patches here. I'll just come, and let me tell you, man, this is like, look, if you're a makeup artist and you're coming on here to critique me, go away. Because this, this works. I look fabulous by the end. I may not do it exactly the way you do it, but it works. All right, so that is my, the base kind of, sorry, not the base, the, the under eye base. And it's a thicker, it's a thicker kind of a cream base that I use because um, I'm, I'm trying to even out the color. I'm gonna use a little more because like I said, I'm tired and dehydrated. Um, I like to even it out. And the first thing you're doing 
is creating the palette upon which to paint. So you're creating just an even, an even thing, you know, painting. You are the canvas, and that's what you're doing. So there we are. They're spreading the word. I love Facebook. They're like, we're spreading the word that you're live. In the meantime, keep going. All right. So I've got my under eye stuff on. Again, it's very moist. I like moist. I like thicker. And that, I, trying, let me tell you what I'm using. I mean, you can use whatever you want. Just make sure the colors work for you. I've used Laura Mercier. She has this, it's called camouflage. And it's two colors that you mix together that to match your skin tone. I didn't bother today. All right. So now I am using, this is my favoriteest Everest base foundation. Laura Mercier, Laura, Silk Cream Moisturizing Photo Edition Foundation. Now, was this made for photography or video? I don't know, but I'll tell you what, it's amazing. <laughs> Let me tell you. So I smear it on. Yeah, that's right. I smear this stuff on. You don't have to go being all fancy pantsy about your makeup just because you're getting on camera. I go down my neck. I do because don't you hate it when you see someone and they've got that line right there, the makeup line. It's like, didn't you realize that the skin extends down? So it's all about blending. I know you've heard this, right? But it really is truly all about blending and paying attention to, to the palette, right? So right now I'm trying to make this, I'm trying to be even, I'm trying to create a pretty much an even look all over. Now you also have to remember that part of what is causing um, any, like if you see here, like you can see I'm shining here, that's the lights, which then creates a shadow, right? If I go like this, you can't see them because the light is now shining right on there, therefore taking away the shadow. When I go like this, I've got shadow. That, a lot of that has to do with how you light yourself. And again, I have not done a makeup tutorial before, so <laughs> lighting one, it's new to me. All right, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kinda, since I, I, I also can't see as well in the camera as I normally would in a mirror, but don't worry, I have a mirror here. I'm ready to go check it. All right, so remember you do have a neck and remember people will see it. Now, I have the additional problem of, not problem, but whatever, I have short hair and I turn, right? So all the way back here gets seen. So I just make, I take care and you'll see this later. I take care to blend so that it's just even. It's not like I'm making up my neck, but I do, I blend. All right, I'm gonna check my mirror. Hold on, that was fun. All right, um, I'm, I'm gorgeous. I mean, really, I can't handle me. Um, all right, so not bad. I also do go over my, my eye lids. You can see how graceful I am at this, right? <laughs> should make you feel very good. All right, feel free to comment and ask questions, unless it's nasty, don't bother. All right, now, my little sister will tell you any day of the week that I put on too much blush. I actually don't think I do. I think I just maybe don't always blend it that well, um, but I'm also on camera. So I do sometimes go back and look at my videos and go, mm, maybe that was a little much. So here's what I do, I've got a blush. Not a blush, sorry, I use bronzer. I don't usually use the pink stuff. I use a browner thing because I like to create a shadow here, right? That brings out the cheekbone. And I'm gonna show you a few techniques that makeup artists have shown me because as you may or may not know, I was an agent at one point for makeup artists, cinematographers, production designers. Those are the amazingly talented people behind the scenes on film sets. So I did get a few tips from them as I would get made up by them. All right, when you're going on camera, try not to use any shiny makeups. So a lot of bronzers will have a shine, a, sh a shimmer in it. Avoid that because otherwise you're gonna have shimmery cheeks and it's going to look a little odd. I did that in some of my early videos and I was like, why am I glowing? And it wasn't the best glow. So be careful not to use shiny makeup. And now I don't have this issue when I do my live videos and when I do my um, 
uh, less the, the less risky videos is what I like to call them. So not my landing page videos and all of that, uh, not my launch videos or my opt-in series and stuff, such. Um, I don't really wear eyeshadow. When I'm doing those videos, which I call high risk, and it's more important for me to like really, you know, bring out the red carpet for myself, I will generally hire a pro. But for every day-to-day -day stuff, uh-uh, honey. Heck no. Not with the amount of video that I'm making. So I am touching it, really, barely doing anything. Then I'm brushing it off. I'm blowing it. And now I'm going to go find my, this guy right there. I just am creating a shadow. Now, this is a trick that someone said, because again, this is about blending and just looking natural. You're not trying to look like a, a movie star. You're not trying to look like anything except yourself uh, on camera. And we're, again, we're just creating a palette so that you look, um, so that you're, you show up and you don't look washed out, right? So here's something you do. You create a C. This is the C, right? And it's a, you just are blending all the way to the forehead and all the way down underneath, right? So I'll have to look in a mirror in a second and see how that is. It looks like it might be working. And then I'm just kind of filling in, doing it again on the other side. I almost did just one side today instead of both sides, creating my C, right? All right, that's it. Now, the question is when I turn, you know, as my grandmother says, the best tool in the world. So guess what? <laughs> Wipe that in. That's right, use your darn hand. I use my hand. You can use one of those little pink spongy things that they sell for $20 now if you want. I've got one. I don't tend to use it because guess what? My hands work. So here's what I'm talking about. I kind of, I now create, I create a shadow here because I have a little, you know, like what I call a glug because I'm a woman of a certain age. And um, I just create a little shadow, a little shadow. All right, boom. Now, if you want to give yourself some cheeks, give yourself some cheeks. I don't, Again, I don't really have any pink stuff here. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm close to fabulous already because I already had that eyeliner on, but you can't forget one of the most important aspects of the face, the eyebrows. I mean, really, they frame your face. I'm coming right up in you, ready? All right, I'm drawing these puppies in. This eyebrow pencil has a wax base in it it's called, it's by a company called Boot, hold on, I gotta say it right. Le métier de Boot. Le métier de Boot. I just like saying it. So, putting on my eyebrows, and I'm just gonna show you the difference. And then there's a little brushy thing so that you can, because it's wax, it kind of helps tame the eyebrows. You can use whatever you want. But, looks like I got a little bit there. But you can see the difference. That's an eyebrow. That is almost an eyebrow, right? So I'm gonna come on in. And my eyebrows are, you know, not my happiest. I, I, I'm not in love with them, but it's a part of me. So what are you gonna do? Here we go, just drawing them in. Here we go, go now I'm gonna brush them down. Make them pretty, make them pretty. Doesn't that remind you of that, that painter, that lovely, lovely painter man? on uh, public television from a few years back. Just gonna paint it in, just gonna put a little tree right here, right here. <laughs> he was lovely, Bill something, I think. Uh, okay, now, what you saw, I put my blush on, or my bronzer on, over my foundation before I put on my powder, right? So usually people will put a uh, translucent powder on to set their makeup. I, most people do, they go foundation and then they go, uh, they go foundation and then they go powder and then they go blush. I sometimes do that, but usually I go the other way because the bronzer sets in better and stays longer if I put it directly onto the foundation. This is me. All right, now, stay with me, we're not done. So I was going to do the foundation, I mean, sorry, the the translucent powder now. But one thing that's incredibly important to Colleen, that's me, um, is, sorry, I'll look up here. This is important to make eye contact. Did I bring it? I did, okay, good. Thought I forgot my mascara. I have what I call, 
pancake lashes. I think that a makeup artist gave me that name, but anyway, so if you can see, let's see if you can see. They are flat, there you go. First of all, they're invisible because they're blonde, but second of all, they're pancakes. They're like two pancakes, poop, poop, poop. They don't like to stay curled, but let's do this, let's do this. I, I try to curl them, I do. It is, <laughs> it's a contraption. Ladies, you've seen it, men, look away it's not very pretty but it helps for a moment so i squeeze it squeeze it squeeze it and i'm curling my lashes yay yay as i curl my lashes and hold that and hold that and hold that i uh pulse look it actually has a little curl see look you can tell now that i have eyelashes all right let's go in this is crazy doing this into a telephone but it's kind of working. Oh, no joke. <laughs> All right, now I have a lot of lashes and uh, they're very fine and thin, so it's hard to get them all and they like to go in different directions. And I always, 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 without fail, get the damn mascara <laughs> on my skin. There's really no way around it. That's just me, but I'm a little clumsy, so. So this is what I do. I do the top one, and then I do the bottom one, and then I do the bottom one, and then I do the top one. I don't curl them. Because again, I have the pancakes, and in just a second, this little guy, even though he's curled, he's gonna go, ooh. There are worse things in the world. I mean, really, first world problems. Colleen, get a grip. Stop your belly aching. It's gonna be my new hashtag. Stop your belly aching. All right, we're curling the other. Now, the important thing about the reason we do makeup, right, is because we're trying to draw attention to our eyes and our mouths. In the, there's a, I have a group course, and in the group course, I have like a 45, 50 minute interview with a lovely makeup artist named B. Cohen, whom I've known for many years. And I also have an interview with a lovely costume designer and stylist, Eden Miller. And Eden talks about drawing attention to the mouth and the eyes when you're on video because that's really, or on film or whatever, because that's the focus. That's what you want people to look at. You don't want people looking at your earrings. You don't want people looking at your shiny um, <laughs> under eye bags or whatever. You want them looking right into your eyeballs and at your mouth talking. So that's why, that's really why we do this. If you don't create the palette, if you don't create the shadows and you turn on the lights, you get washed out. That's why we're here, all right? now. I am almost done. But we can't forget, for me, so important, I'm what you call dewy. I'm dewy. I am shiny. I'm a shiny, shiny person. And it's hard for me to not be shiny. Here I go. Where I am most shiny is under my eyes, right there. Um, it's hard to get stuff in and to keep that happy and matted. So what I'm doing is I'm adding translucent um, translucent powder, right, which is see-through, I guess is the definition of translucent, and taking down the shine so that people aren't distracted by my dewy skin. <laughs> okay, this is pretty much my on-camera makeup. So I will get a picture at the from the beginning of this and a picture at the end and we'll see what the difference is i'm going to turn this light off there's a light on the back of the camera let's see there we go uh yeah i mean so you can tell with the light on that's it with it off i do have two lights on me though this is the light come on buddy come on buddy oh that's bright and then it goes down dimmer that's it with the light on so you can see how you can get washed out the more light you have. And if you are, you know, getting on video, you are hopefully using some sort of specialized light. Even if you're in the, sh the shade outside with that nice soft diffuse light, um, you're still going to need a little bit of makeup just to bring out, like I said, the lips and the eyes. Now, I forgot my lipstick because that is another very important thing and you don't want to go crazy. You don't want to go bold. I just use flesh colors. I use neutral tones and, and flesh colors. And as you see, I don't know how long I've been on. I've been chatting, but this doesn't take long. And I do this before I go live. I'm just looking for my, 
I didn't bring my lipstick. It's in the other room. All right. If you let me know if you have any questions. I see one eyeball right now. If you have any questions, you may ask them. Put the put them in the comments below. And if you want to be a part of this kind of tutorial stuff, if you want to learn things, I'm running a challenge in my ace your video crew page starting monday october 31st you can get in there you can still get in there i will post the link hi <laughs> you like deep red otherwise it seems to okay could be that you don't usually do... well if i had if i had deep red it, honestly that's a it's a it's sort of a brand thing and it's a personal choice if you want to hi if you want to wear a red lipstick that's fine. You want to be careful because, like I was saying before, you want attention on your eyes and your mouth, but you don't want people just staring at your mouth. And sometimes if you choose a bright red lipstick, they're just kind of looking at your mouth. Because humans, we will watch anything. We'll watch a train wreck. I'll look at a wart on somebody. I can't take my eyes off it. And so beautiful red lips. I might lose the message. That being said, if it blends and if you have a nice palette going on, Go with what you, go with you. You do you, boo. <laughs> it totally works. Um, but I just use the flesh colors because I'm not a big makeup person and I try to, not flesh colors, but you know, neutral. And I try to uh, just keep it all kind of, what is it? Neutral. That's what I do. Um, <laughs> see, yeah. And my teeth, so yes, you're saying that what you see is your teeth when it's all over. And that's kind of what I see sometimes when um, who is who is this woman? Um, her brand is basically red colors, bright red colors, and red lipstick, and she's got blonde hair. And I'm totally drawing a blank right now. Um, she's like a baker cooker woman, um, but that's her thing. But all I look at is her teeth. Now my teeth, I don't have whitened teeth. I have fine. They're white. But if I wore red makeup, I think they might look a little dingy. Just being honest. So that's me. Um, but the, it's also good to go to, you know, one of these beauty bars or to go to Sephora or whatever and have them help you with a color palette. So, okay, that is my makeup tutorial for dummies, me being the dummy, <laughs> for on-camera makeup. Uh, and hopefully my, my um, apron was somewhat joyful and helpful and uh, that it brought a little levity to the situation but i'm going to go ahead and sign off thank you for checking in candy and um, if anyone has any more questions please put them in the comments and feel free to join the challenge and get more free lessons there because i am helping you not only upgrade your video ability so that's like the camera light thing if you want but it's also about feeling comfortable on camera and being transparent not really authentic it's just about being transparent and maybe they're the same thing but it's about finding your true voice because everyone's voice is different and everyone on video is different so there's no one size fits all and that's really what i deal with in there in the challenge so all right you guys have a good one